Ok, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Dan selamat sejahtera Serta salam satu Malaysia Kepada semua ibu bapa dan pelajar-pelajar Lepasan STPM dan juga SPM Saya ingin menerangkan Tentang program beasiswa dan bantuan kewangan Di bawah dana pendidikan Dr. Hamzahid Iaitu badan jariah yang telah saya tubuhkan untuk membantu pelajar-pelajar lepasan STPM dan mulai tahun 2014 ini juga bagi pelajar-pelajar lepasan SPM. Tujuan saya yang utama ialah saya nak membantu pelajar-pelajar ini keluar daripada masalah kemiskinan. Iaitu kalau kita biarkan sebahagian besar daripada pelajar-pelajar kita ini lepas SPM dan STPM Uh, ada yang sebahagiannya tidak dapat melanjutkan pelajaran uh, ke peringkat diploma dan juga jazah masalah kewangan. Apa yang saya nak buat ialah uh, melalui badan jariah saya ini, saya nak mengambil pelajar-pelajar ini supaya uh, mereka pertama sekali dibetulkan penguasaan bahasa Inggerisnya. Saya hendakkan bahawa setiap pelajar Uh, mereka mestilah boleh berkomunikasi dalam bahasa Inggeris Atau bertutur dengan baik dalam bahasa Inggeris Dan saya dapati bahawa masalah yang besar di uh, peringkat sekolah ialah Mereka telah pun belajar daripada Raja 1 sampailah tengah tahun 5 Atau bagi lepasan STPM dari, daripada Raja 1 hingga uh, STPM Iaitu mengambil 13 tahun belajar bahasa Inggeris di peringkat sekolah Tetapi mereka tidak boleh bercakap dalam bahasa Inggeris Dan rakan-rakan saya di pengkat industri Terutama di, di, di sektor kewangan, di bank-bank dan juga syarikat-syarikat besar Mengeluh kepada saya bahawa mereka menghadapi masalah untuk mengambil Anak-anak muda kita ya, Untuk menjadi eksekutif di dalam institusi atau syarikat-syarikat mereka kerana masalah yang besar yang diutarakan kepada saya ialah pelajar-pelajar ini atau lepas-lepasan uh, graduan ini, mereka tidak boleh berbahasa Inggeris dengan baik. Jadi mereka menghadapi kesukaran untuk mengambil pelajar-pelajar atau lepasan-lepasan graduan ini untuk bertugas di institusi-institusi mereka. Jadi di dalam program ini, apa yang saya buat ialah melalui badan jariah saya yang saya letakkan setiap tahun berjumlah beberapa juta setiap tahun untuk membantu pelajar-pelajar ini. Jadi apa yang saya buat ialah saya ambil pelajar-pelajar lepasan SPM iaitu mulai pengambilan bulan bulan 3 kemudian mulai pada lepasan STPM mulai bulan 5 dan berterusan sampailah hingga bulan 11. Banyak kumpulan ini eh, Setiap tahun Saya membiayai sepenuhnya Program intensif bahasa Inggeris Apa yang saya sebut intensif program, program intensif bahasa Inggeris Yang dilakukan sebanyak Selama dua bulan eh, Pelajar ini akan diminta Untuk belajar Mulai pukul 8.30 pagi Sampai tengah hari Melalui kelas biasa Yang mana kelas-kelas ini akan diajar oleh Guru-guru yang datang daripada luar negara Mereka adalah bukan rakyat Malaysia Yang hanya boleh berbahasa Inggeris dan tidak boleh berbahasa Melayu Apa yang saya nak ialah Pensyara-pensyara uh, asing ini Akan mengajar mereka dalam bahasa Inggeris Bukan dicampur adukkan dengan bahasa Melayu Jadi pelajar ini bangun pagi masuk kelas 8 setengah sampai tengah hari Dia akan berhadapan dengan guru-guru dia yang berasal daripada guru-guru Luar negara, rakyat negara asing yang tidak boleh berbahasa Melayu. Dia hanya mengajar dalam bahasa Inggeris. Petang, dua setengah sampai pukul lima. Disambung pukul lapan setengah sampailah pukul sebelas malam. Pelajar-pelajar ini akan dididik melalui aktiviti. Di sinilah tiap-tiap pelajar akan mengambil bahagian dalam bentuk drama, dalam bentuk Uh, public speaking dalam bentuk debate uh, dan macam-macam uh, kegiatan kebudayaan yang semuanya akan mendesak dan meng, uh, me, 
galakkan pelajar-pelajar itu untuk berbahasa Inggeris. Dalam video ini akan ditunjukkan beberapa aktiviti yang dibuat oleh pelajar yang mana kita dapat lihat bahawa dalam masa 2 bulan adalah satu perkara yang menakjubkan yang saya nampak dan saya anggap ini satu perkara yang menakjubkan bahawa pelajar-pelajar kita ini kalau ada satu keadaan yang sesuai yang menggalakkan bagi mereka untuk bercakap bahasa Inggeris mereka ini boleh bercakap bahasa Inggeris dengan baik ha, jadi saya menggalakkan ibu bapa membenarkan anak-anak mereka untuk mengikuti program bahasa Inggeris selama 2 bulan ha, jadi apa yang saya buat ialah semua program perbelanjaan program ini adalah ditanggung oleh badan jariah saya iaitu dana pendidikan Dr. Hamzai ibu bapa tidak perlu uh, mengeluarkan sebarang bayaran semuanya percuma jadi pelajar ini dalam kata lain dia akan belajar secara percuma. Ibu bapa tidak perlu risau tentang masalah kewangan sama sekali. Saya tanggung semua perkara ini melalui badan jarah saya iaitu dana pendidikan Dr. Hamzai. Mudah-mudahan saya dapat membantu walaupun tidak ramai. Mungkin setakat seribu, dua ribu satu tahun. Tapi at least saya dapat membantu kumpulan yang memerlukan bantuan untuk memastikan mereka terus melanjutkan pelajaran sehinggalah mereka ini mendapat ijazah eh, dalam berbagai bidang eh. dan selepas dia tamat pengajian di peringkat ijazah saya hendakkan mereka ini terus bekerja dan saya telah pun atur dengan sektor-sektor swasta untuk memastikan bahawa pelajar-pelajar ini apabila keluar besok dia terus bekerja, tidak lagi menganggur nah, kita lihat pada hari ini jumlah graduan yang menganggur terlalu ramai Ha? Jadi saya hendakkan bahawa pelajar-pelajar yang saya bantu ini, yang saya didik ini, ha? mereka akan dapat belajar pertama sekali membetulkan penguasaan bahasa Inggeris mereka ha? dan kemudian diikuti program ijazah ha? dalam bahasa Inggeris dan kemudian keluar mesti bekerja dan saya akan dapatkan saya akan bantu dia untuk dapatkan pekerjaan. Jadi dengan sirinya dalam lain kepataan dengan usaha ini, saya dapat membantu anak-anak tuan-tuan perempuan supaya keluar daripada masalah kemiskinan. Ha, mereka boleh kerja sebagai pegawai, sebagai top eksekutif di badan-badan, ha, di syarikat-syarikat besar, syarikat-syarikat antarabangsa yang besar, ya, yang mana se semuanya akan menggunakan ha, bahasa Inggeris. Jadi harapan saya dia akan dapat membantu keluarganya apabila mereka menamatkan program ijazahnya. Untuk itu, saya menyeru pada ibu bapa ha, supaya dapat menghantar dan membenarkan anaknya untuk mengikuti program bahasa Inggeris ini ha, secara intensif. Ha, setiap program sebuah kamilan akan melalui dua bulan ha, dan ha, dalam ha, video ini diterangkan ha, beberapa contoh di mana saya dapat buktikan bahawa penguasaan ha, bahasa Inggeris mereka adalah jauh, jauh, sangat jauh ha, berbanding dengan sebelum dia masuk belajar apa, sehinggalah dia keluar selepas program bahasa Inggeris ni. Dan saya tekankan lagi sekali bahawa program ini adalah secara percuma segala masalah kewangan akan saya tanggung dan saya harapkan, saya harapkan ibu bapa tidak lagi mempersoalkan program ini betul atau tidak betul. Saya dah berjalan eh, semenjak 5 tahun, 6 tahun yang lepas. Dan Alhamdulillah sehingga hari ini kita dah melatih ribuan pelajar. Harapan saya lagi sekali benarkan anak tuan-tuan perempuan mengikuti program bahasa Inggeris yang saya tuangkan ini. Sekian terima kasih. In the intensive English program, my role is as the tutor who is responsible to take care of the program and make sure that the program runs smoothly. This includes jobs such as the preparation of materials and language check, quality check, as well as monitoring the students so that they can practice successfully. The whole concept of this program is about language training. In the intensive English program, we stress more on the use of English in communicative purpose. 
There are two main focuses of this program. The first is the development of confidence among students in using English as a medium of communication. To achieve this, the Intensive English program has been providing English language environment for students to use English language in their daily environment without the fear of feeling awkward. We also have foreign lecturers from countries such as Nigeria, Bangladesh, and Arabs to be the lecturers and mentors of this program. Apart from teaching, these foreign lecturers also act as the main motivation for students to use or attempt to use English in their daily conversation. The second focus of this program is the public presentation skills. In these two months, all participants will be undergoing a series of presentation, or we call it as the concerts. There are four concerts in total, in which each concert aims to expose students in the use of useful skills and presentation techniques in delivering excellent public presentation. In short, it is hoped that all skills and presentation techniques that have been achieved by the students will be fully utilized by them to help them in achieving maximum grade in their degree, as well as to equip them with soft skills that will make them marketable in the job market. I am supposed to teach and guide the students. Apart from teaching and guiding the students, I also play the role of a counselor. This, is, uh, this one will actually help him to pattern his or her life to achieve his or her goal. So I also play the role of a mentor to my students. The students, of course, when they first came to the class, um, some of them lost confidence. They could not actually stand before the audience, before their uh, colleagues and they speak. And uh, by the time we began to interact, by the time I began to teach them, they, they developed this confidence. And now I can see, I can beat my chest to it. They have improved considerably. The, their speaking ability and even the writing ability have improved. Um, Alpha College of Technology has an uh, effective teaching guideline for intensive English program. And um, according to this guideline, we gave uh, different type of um, activities to the student and the student are enjoying these activities. Sometimes we are showing um, English movie. Um, and by this, uh, by showing this movie, we are trying to focus when and how they will you will use uh, present tense, when you will use past tense, when you will future tense. So they are enjoying it. We do what we call speech delivery. Each student is asked to come to the front of the class, face the audience, face, their colleague, face his colleagues, and they give a speech. So usually, we give them the topic ahead so they can have sufficient time to prepare. From time to time, I conduct quiz on various topics that we have covered in the past. We have debate. The students are grouped into, they have their groups. In, the, in my class, there are four groups. So we select representatives from, the, from each group, and they, they come forward, give them topics ahead, and then they, they speak on emotion. One speaks against emotion, one, one speaks in support. We involved in the auditory speech. We, I'm, I try to make students to be heard to us in future. So this is also a program that, <coughs> that is designed to actually make them very good orator in future. We did many tasks in the classroom. Um, in morning session, we taught them in grammar. And second session, we taught uh, um, actually the exercise who is we taught in morning. In second session, actually this uh, depends on exercise only. And afternoon session, we Give them, we gave them newspapers and actually newspaper reading. I present them in so many activities for them to know. I take them as a friend and family with me. I take my students as and I teach them academically, they've been fantastic with them. You know, I always bring them to be comfortable with them because I give them many aspects for them to play with me in the class and always be smart to talk to me. Even when they see me, you know, they are very proud to talk to me in English. Sometimes I make jokes with them. When the class is being dull, I make jokes with them. I talk to them as a brother, I talk to them as a family, I talk to them as a lecturer. 
just to make the class being lively, you know, so they were going to feel bored. I gave them my assignments so they would go home and do it. I gave them class work, like simple, simple words, simple, simple statements. I made them to make a speech with me. They read newspaper during the afternoon, they participate. They really participate fantastic sometimes. I know what they want, I know what they don't want. I clo I'm closer with them, even the, my students and the, S and the student that is not my student. You know, I make friends with every one of them. For them to be, for them to, be, to have confidence to talk to me in English. I talk to them as a family also, because sometimes I feel like maybe sometimes I play some activities with them. Maybe, okay, let's play a game. When, I'm, when we are not in the class, you know, when I'm with a student also, I play a game with them. We watch football together. Some of these students actually have their little shortcomings, but uh, in, in time of discussion, in time of uh, trying to interact with ourselves, I build confidence in them. And some of them now, they can't face the audience and they speak. First time, uh, they were so shy and nervous also. Now, um, uh, if I called them to speak something, they were too nervous and uh, they were too shy. And now I saw they are very confident and they are speaking, uh, um, they are speaking very well. I asked my student uh, a few days ago, okay, um, what is your feeling after this program? Uh, she said that, sir, um, I am very confident now. If you tell me to, to speak something um, in front of 1,000 students, um, I can uh, speak fluently. I am not shy now. I am not uh, nervous. I got many interesting uh, incidents uh, during my class. Then when I told them to speak uh, their parents, their hometown, and uh, their future plan, so some students, when they talked about their parents, uh, they, are, uh, they became so emotional. And uh, um, uh, even some students, uh, they are crying. Then uh, I thought, oh, what happened? So I came to know that this is the first time they came out from their hometown. So they are very emotional. And uh, they are very experienced because they worked many places. So they have real life experience also. Um, I, I actually develop some packages to help them. What I usually do is to give them special attention. Each time I explain concept, I explain a particular topic, and they see, cannot understand, I go to them one by one and ask them what is the problem specifically. So I don't, I don't address the topic from afar. I move around the class to see what this student, this student who cannot actually catch up with others quickly, what is their problem particularly? So I ask them the question, I ask them to, to tell me what is the problem, so I explain to them. I also ask them to give examples. So I give special time, special time, special attention, special packages for these students. I bring them closer, this student who cannot actually catch up with others quickly, I bring them closer. I try to explain in their way, in the way they can understand. Okay, when I give an instruction, I give a discussion from uh, from the front of the class. I will go to them personally to ask them what their problems are. And I think that now they 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 have improved. Some of them who can be categorized as weak students at the beginning, I have the confidence to see now they, they have improved and they can be grouped as a good student. Though in the first time in a uh, few classes they could not uh, uh, able to understand uh, and they could not able to speak and write in English uh, frequently, but after that they got confident. Even I found uh, in the Alpha College that intensive English program, the students have to perform uh, concert, they have to perform the debate and solo program and uh, public speaking. So I found them when they are performing their concert, they are very confident and uh, they can speak very uh, nicely and continuously. So this is a very good thing. In my class as a guide or mentor, so I give them motivation. So they feel motivated and confident to uh, build their future career. And uh, I give them a hope.
okay if you study hard in these three years you can achieve uh, everything what you want in your future career i've never had experience of being in a program like this though i've been teaching in nigeria before i teach in chemistry in nigeria before so this is what i will say about the um, English intensive program. To me, I really enjoy it. It's fantastic to me. You know, I've never been in something like this before. And I always want to be in something like this now. Because I enjoy it so much. In fact, so much. I've been able to appreciate the, the system of this uh, college. And uh, I think it's something very worthwhile. I really appreciate and recommend the management of this college because uh, the way the package, the, the, the way the English program is packaged is something that uh, we must actually commend. Students who, who might never have the opportunity of uh, being educated are now given the privilege. This program is a good initiative and it should be taken to the next level and it should be carried on all over Malaysia so that more pupils could benefit from it. And I believe this is one program that would never squeeze your energy by jotting down notes. I think I will regret if I didn't participate in these programs because I learned many things here compared my previous place that I have been before. I feel that I got improvement in my English compared with before I came here. In here, every day I need to speak English my roommate and my classmate helped me a lot. This program was fun and good. Now everyone just like a family. We learn together, play together and go out together. My English also become better than before. Well, back in school, students were trained and prepared for English only to put it all back on the exam sheet. The physical and structural aspect of English were given less importance. But here, we are given the accurate lessons on the sounds, spellings, voicing, pronunciation, grammars, and more. On the other hand, it is also a place to unleash your talent and confidence, as well as leadership skills. In this first time, being far away from my family, but in these two months, I have also met new family members, which are all my friends who come from a different states and races. We work hard together as one family to finish our IBI program. Seriously, I come to experience something new. I have learned many other cultures close enough to see it with my own eyes. New faces, new cultures, new experience, and indeed a new perspective. Many things have changed in my life while I'm participating myself in this English program. This program also has taught me many things besides helping me in improving my English language. It also taught me to be independent in person. My first day here was a total culture shock. A Nigerian lecturer and his slang was too thick to be understood. However, it took me only two days to adapt it. As days gone by, I fully understood each and every of his word and that made my learnings easier. I don't understand the pronunciation. They speak so far in English. This all the work come from my mind when I attend the class in first day. After two months, I can understand what others say and can follow the classes. The first time I attend my class, I was really surprised that our lecturer is a foreigner. However, I can practice in speaking broken English at the first time without, without feeling shy because I think at least the lecturer can understand what I'm saying and definitely I have improved my speaking ability, pronunciation and also my confidence level. The first day I entered my class on 25th November 2013, I was so nervous because I knew my lecturer is not Malaysian. He's from Nigeria. I don't even know how to make a conversation with him. And you know what, the moment that my lecturer start to talk to us, I only can understand a few words that he said. But now I can understand what he said and I'm happy, I'm glad because we can converse every minute in, in the class or outside. Firstly, it's difficult for me to understand, but when he speak, it makes me want to learn, to listen more about what he spoke. Every day, we are given some dictation and exercises. My lecture also usually calls the student to come at in front to talk about our subject. 
I think this can help me to improve our confidence when talking in front of our friends. Every day he will talk to me, debate or fighting with me. He will give me a lot of tasks and he will help me in correcting the answers, explaining the right one. And he also helped me to improve my confidence level to talk in front of the others. Every day we're gonna talk in English and he will get mad if we talk in Malay. So that's how we are improve our English in class. So uh, in a class we are do a lot of presentation, especially article presentation, uh, gram grammar presentations, and also we also uh, do group discussions and classwork in a class. The first concert is the platform where we encounter in each other our very own scriptwriter, singer, choreographer, director, painter and many more to produce a chorus speaking. It was an awesome kickstart of this program. Concert 1 teach me to give full commitment with groups members and also tolerate with them while expressing our idea on something. It is also shows our cooperation as a teamwork to perform our best. This icebreaking concert is where students from North, South, East and West in one group in, and it's a magnificent, magnificent combination. That's what I've gone through and I'm proud of it. Being able to be exposed to many different cultures, traditions and dialects is a priceless gift as a Malaysian. Together we produced our first masterpiece that is choral speaking. Well, on the second concert, uh, we have play and drama and I have chosen Othello. It was uh, William Shakespeare's masterpiece and it's a popular one, but it kind of brings hardship on our group because the, it was different from other drama and play that day because we are, the script are in Old English. I play Desdemona, uh, Othello's wife. At one point, we even have to learn and watch back all the Othello movies because we have to practice ourselves to pronounce the word like Thai, To and Tos and therefore however it was a very marvelous and happy experience to me. The activity required me to speak confidently in front of the audience and judge. Thus, I become more alert and careful with every words that came out of my mouth to make sure they are able to understand the point that I convey in my speech. Debate is a um, competition that needs requires one to think out of the box and on the spot. So it is very very important for those who participate in debate to give serious attention to every point or a word that being delivered by his or her opponent. So by joining this debate arena especially, um, I have made sure that I understand clearly about the topic and search information related to the arguments and of course um, before I um, deliver my point, I also rehearse and practice and make sure that my um, vocal projection, my intonation, my pronunciation is accurate and well-versed. During my third concert before, I get new more students from different classes. Well, we have been prepared our concert in this time, and we have celebrated a new year together in Alpha College with a new friends, new experience with a new surroundings. And I think that's the best experience a part of my life. The third concert is very surprising. The Kibara in English, really? The activity is very interesting actually, although we need to face lots of challenges, but they, we do gain new things and it's really fun. Love it. Mm. The most interesting moment is when we need to look for the right song, mix it, cut it, and combine it with the decorous instrument. It's really challenging, but yet yeah, interesting. I really have no idea actually what is Dikir Barat all about. So I have to give my commitment, my full commitment, because um, it is all about teamwork, 
uh, we have to synchronize all together the movement, the beats, the rhythm and of course um, we have to sing also so the whole presentation requires uh, teamwork instead of individual presentation. The fourth concert was a fun-filled experience. The combination of traditional music and hand movements was really spectacular. It increases my curiosity to survey more on traditional musics. On the other hand, the benefits that I got on, through this concert, fourth concert is it is a simple and effective way to expose younger generation to our traditional and cultural heritage, especially in a multiracial country like Malaysia. It portrays Malaysia on the world stage significantly. Talking about our mentors, they are very friendly, help us, kind-hearted, caring, take care to their group members. The mentors help me for every concert. They give me their ideas when I don't know how to make it or do the pass. I'm very respect to all of them. I got two mentors for my group. Both of them are good. They may help me and give fresh ideas for our concert. So they do their job very good and excellent. They guide us properly well. They treat us like own brother or sister. They also given us advice and always take care of our facilities and thankful to them because always appears when we want anything to discuss. It was good experience. I also have met a lot of good friends in this program. Well, I never lived in a hostel before. Living in a dorm with 14 different personality domain is such a new brand new thing for me. To make it clear between all of us, we always had our five-minute talk before we go to sleep. To express our feeling toward each other, tell each other what we have done through the day, and even to our vision together during the weekend. And now we become closer like a big family. Mm, IBI Idol is one of the new thing for me. Never thought that I could have this opportunity to sing in front of the others N.A. Satan, who is one of the famous composer. We are the chorus speakers from the Lion Are you guys ready to go? We are ready, we are ready. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, are you all in love, Harry? Yes. Eh, no, 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 no. Ah. No, it means we unite and we will never give up in any. What about the word T? The word T comes from unity. Oh! Unity is about our relationship between humans and their God. Ha! I know the meaning of five. What? Hey everyone! Sit tight and listen. Have no worries. We mean no harm. Pay your attention and do not yarn. Ha! The jurisdiction.
Master and Exorcist in the house. Well, that's the right thing you said all night. Pro. Let cut to the cheese. I want to hire you. You are damn your fraud to to hire us. Yeah, sorry. We don't work for people who doubt our abilities. I'll pay you fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Since 
so many disaster events wreak havoc and destruction across the globe, regardless of the country status, developing, developed, or underdeveloped. So to what extent you can relate this process of urbanization to the environmental repercussion? Thank you. One of the most common disasters caused by urbanization is soil erosion. Large-scale and unplanned building projects can affect the soil around the area. The absence of trees and heavy rainfall will make the soil loose easily. Therefore, soil erosion could happen easily due to a large-scale and unplanned building projects. Ladies and gentlemen, urbanization has a number of beneficial aspects for the environment. Firstly, the conservation of energy and resources. It is far easier and far more economic to supply gas, fuel, electricity, water, sewage system, and etc. to people who live in close proximity than to the people who live far apart. With this, the government also can easily supply natural resources more effectively. Urbanization brings harm to environment such as destructions of flora and fauna. Where we want to go, people want to know.
my phone six in 2012. And I have a dream of entering famous colleges such as UITM, UGAP, UMS, and etc. But unfortunately, unfortunately I can't. Because my body is not that good. My family income is not that much. It's a sad situation where I can see through my parents' eyes. They were very, very disappointed and sad with me. Until that day, day and night, night and day, I prayed to God and hoping that I can get one more chance. And what a shock! God really helped me. He sent me Dr. Amsai to my life. <laughs> Big thanks to Dr. Hamzai Yahya or Abba, who is the mastermind behind this program, Mr. Hashim bin Harun, who is known as Aya for facilitating the whole program, Ms. Jusnani, Mr. Hanif for his endless guidance, lectures, mentors, and of course, all of the participants of IBI program. The hospitality and tremendous support given by all of them have helped me throughout the two months program. Kudos to everyone and keep up the good work. I hope that this beneficial program will be continued in the future so the other junior students out there can gain the same wisdom and knowledge and experience the awesomeness of this IBI program. That's all. Thank you.